Welcome to part two of this video, where I will show my ideas of what I think the Zelda timeline could be. As you can see, I made a linear timeline, and if you can't see what games are there, it goes Minish Cap, Four Swords, Ocarina of Time, Majora's Mask, Twilight Princess, Four Swords Adventure, A Link to the Past, Oracle of Ages, or Oracle of Seasons, Link's Awakening, uh, Wind Waker, Phantom Hourglass, The Original Legend of Zelda, and Zelda 2. Now, I chose to put them where they are because if you think logically, the first of all, all you have to do is place the original two Zelda games. You know those two would be in the timeline. Then you know Link to the Past would be before it. And Link's Awakening is obviously a sequel, so that has to go after Link to the Past, but before the other two. Then I put the Oracle eight oracles in there because they serve, as Lanson said, as the bridge to Link's Awakening. And then you have Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask to go even further back, and you just know that because it's the first mention of Ganondorf, but since it is, I put Minish Cap and Four Swords even further behind that. Now, then I have Twilight Princess because it didn't take that much long after Ocarina of Time. Then Four Swords Adventure, as Ganon gets the trident, which he uses in the next couple of games, and then gets sealed. Now, I'm sure, especially Lanson will bring this up, that how in the beginning of Wind Waker, it said that the Hero of Time never came to fight him again. Well, I came up with a theory of, if you think about it, the people of Hyrule only encounter Ganon destroying them once, and that was your grand time, because he actually like took over, destroyed a town, and forced people to leave. But if you think in the future Zelda games, like Twilight Princess, the people didn't know what was going on. Like they didn't know Twilight Realm was going on, and the only thing they could have possibly known is that a giant like pyramid thing went over the castle, but then it went away in a couple weeks. Okay. Four Swords, like, nobody knew about that, just thought it was a stormy, stormy weather. A Link to the Past, people knew that something was wrong, but they didn't know it was Ganon. They knew it was, like, they heard it was Aghanim. And when Ganon's in the Oracle games, the only one that sees them are Zelda and Link. And, yeah, so, I think what the people were referring to, the legend is misleading because... I think after the Oracle games, after Link's Awakening, Ganon comes back somehow again and starts to take over, but there's no hero that time. And they only think there's only been one hero to stop him so far because they didn't know that Ganon was trying to take over before. So that's why I put it in a linear timeline right here. And also, I put the original Zelda games behind Phantom Hourglass because as you know, um, or as Lansing explained, that it's partially flooded and the landscape is all ravaged. Another reason why I chose the games where they are, as Lansing said at the end of Wind Waker, the Master Sword does not exist because it was lost at the bottom of the sea. And so I knew that Wind Waker would have to be the last game to have the Master Sword. And if you think about it, after Ocarina of Time comes Twilight Princess because the Temple of Time starts to get a little decayed. Then, by Link to the Past, the next game that uses the Master Sword, it is totally destroyed in the Lost Woods. So what I think happened was, since there's like no protection around it, fearing of evil plots, the King had the Master Sword move into the castle basement where they build a shrine around it, as it is in the Wind Waker. So, yeah, that's another reason why I believe how the games are placed like they are. I'm also going to go one step up for all the people who don't believe the Four Swords are part of the timeline. Now, as you can tell, the beginning part doesn't change at all. I mean, you just get rid of Minish Cap and the Four Swords. But since Four Swords Adventure is taken away, the timeline starts to shift. As in Link to the Past, Ganon's already sealed. Well, without Link, without Four Swords Adventure, 
there is no ceiling that takes place in Twilight Princess. I mean, he gets stabbed. So, that I believe that would take place at Ocarina of Time. As it says, like, the seven wise men, which I could be referring to the sages. So that backs up my timeline even better than before. But then, what I said about the Temple of Time is also crushed, because after Ocarina, it becomes lost it becomes in the lost woods where it is totally nothing's around it and then somehow ruins of the temple of time appear in twilight princess after what i put but you know that's why i believe the four swords subseries are in it because it serves a major point in my timeline but if they're not i guess that makes some degree of sense if it's a linear timeline now I still think that it's a split timeline as it's been said officially and how it makes the most sense. But I just wanted to give like an idea and sort of dedicate this to True Edge because he brought up a lot of good points about how a linear timeline could exist. Now, I know there's problems with it, but I'd still like to see like video responses or comments saying that what you think is specifically wrong because I would like to change it, and I would like to know. So, until we meet again, farewell.